Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning in the buzz. Oh, from sports practice to music to hockey to school to homework that to was yesterday. CCD to I know I'm like <laughs> rewinding my day too. Okay, kids are busy. That's yeah. the whole point. But whether they're actually too busy remains a topic of debate these days. The Society for Research and Child Development is taking up the subject at their annual symposium. They're going to discuss what happens to children with high levels of extracurricular involvement and how factors such as grades and aggression levels are also affected. Experts say that the always growing competition to get into good colleges helps fuel the fire. Some people suggest that all the activities keep the kids focused and on track. Others say kids are just getting burnt out. And while there's no proof that either school of thought is correct, one thing is for sure, more than 70% of kids participate in extracurricular activities. I mean, I think there's no doubt that the amount of activities has grown in recent years, don't you think? I, I mean, compared totally, to when we were kids. I would totally agree. I mean, yeah. and they start younger. My, you know, I always talk about my son playing hockey. You know, he's yeah. seven, started when he was six years old playing 40 games a year or right, whatever it was. Right. Uh, I didn't start playing competitive sports. Well, I shouldn't say that's competitive travel team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the house league or the recreation of the town sports. Yeah. I think I started playing when I was like nine or ten years right. old. It was like five games and you were done. See you next mm -hmm. fall if right. it was soccer. But it is crazy now how much these kids mm -hmm. do. Know. And, you know, we talk about the effect it has on parents. I'm just going to give you an example. My husband's been in the training all week, so I've been, I, as I say, single mom in it all week. And I actually messed up on the time of my child's first softball practice yesterday because it, it, there's just so much going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. And then there was like a rain cancellation, so it got rescheduled. And we show up at the field at 5.30 yesterday. Everyone's leaving. And Mackenzie was like, I missed my first practice. <laughs> and I'm like, mother of the year. Yes, she is. That's me. I'm like, let's just go get ice cream. Well, that's uh, the thing. You know, it was at why That's why we went for dinner. There you go. Yeah. You, you so. played college basketball, Michaela. Did you yeah. start playing intense levels of, of AAU and travel basketball when you were younger than you probably should have been or did you get see, burnt out see I didn't because I felt like I was always doing something I started playing soccer when I was six years old yeah I went from soccer to softball and then basketball was actually the last one I started I wasn't you know I was maybe 10 or 11 when I started that mm -hmm. um, and, and I just always was consistently doing something it was never too competitive I never did right. an AAU travel team I always just kind of did the town league and the school league but I felt like one would always run into the other. Sure. So it was mm -hmm. soccer to basketball to softball. And then in the, in the summer, it was like all-star softball. So it was constantly year-round. There were four of us, too. Uh -huh. And, of course, my parents just played chauffeur. Yeah. There the was time. whirlwind all the time. Don't you think it depends on the kid, too? I mean, you know, I've seen kids who are, like, literally like stamping their feet after school. I don't want to go to blah, 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 like whatever it is that they're supposed to well, be going there's, to. there's a difference. You know? There's the parents that push the kids right. to do them. And then there's the kids that just really do want to get yeah. involved in a lot of things. Yeah. I joke around that my son, we talk about hockey, he drags me to the hockey rink. Yeah, I mean, he true. really <laughs> wants to do it. And if and now that hockey's over and we're transitioning into lacrosse, he comes home from school. He doesn't have hockey four days a week like he does through the winter. And right. he's driving me bananas because he's got so much energy and he's not <laughs> crazy. I'm like, oh, I wish we had hockey practice to go to tonight. That's the one thing. My wife said to me yesterday, she goes, are you and I ever going to spend any time together anymore? Because it's true. All I do is cart Connor now to lacrosse and so uh, lacrosse and hockey. My daughter yeah. Yeah. piano lessons yesterday. And listen, I, I enjoy it. I want them to have fun, but it does take away from it does. your uh, social life, and but it's also expensive. I mean, these oh these activities. Oh my gosh, I know. I mean, you got to take out a second mortgage just yeah. to pay but for piano lessons. But I think, I think they're so great. You know, everything from art classes to music classes yeah. to sports. Kids are learning so much, and they're becoming well diverse in a lot of different activities, mm -hmm. which I think is great. You know, to stimulate their brains and get their creative. And what is side the alternative? Going, you know, kids don't play in the neighborhood like mm -hmm. back in the day. So if they're not in these mm -hmm. things, what are they going to do? They sit at home. This. They want to play video games, this. and that is no, 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 no. As I like to say, you're going to have to go to the doctor for <laughs> brain issues if you play too many video right. games. But that's why I, I mean, threaten them why, with that all the time. That's why I think extracurriculars so, are great. Yeah. But it's up to the yeah. parents, too, to kind of limit them when it gets to the point it's where... It's all about balance. I feel like if you're going to partake in extracurricular activities, take on as many as you can handle and follow through with. Too late because for that. Some, I know. We're in, we're in people, deep, Patrick. But some people just get, you know, too many things, and they're then they have to, like, quit one thing, or they're yeah. not completing projects for another, and it's like... Do as much as you can handle. <laughs> Courtney, I, I, when I wake up every day, I think this is the first thing that pops in my mind. It's like, all right, what where, do I have later? where does my son have to go after <laughs> work is over, and what is my daughter doing? Oh, and by the way, I have another son and a wife and a job. 
It's true. It's I don't, even, I don't even have activities yet. I still wake up, what day is it? You know, just because <laughs> with kids, there's always so much to do. We have both sides um, comments from our viewers today. Some think that it's great. Some think they're overscheduled. And they're actually sharing their personal stories, just like Danielle and Patrick. So we can start on the live blog on foxprovidence.com. And Jerry says, no, the kids are not getting burnt out. All these sports are great for getting scholarships to good schools. If you have brains and skills, you have made it. Smokey Wolf says, well, my kids didn't do much as in activities. Activities. We did them here at home. They were outside from the time they got home from school till dark every day, and we played all kinds of games. Here's our poll right underneath the live blog. Do you think kids are overscheduled? A, absolutely. Kids need to just be kids, or B, not at all. Schedules keep them active. We have many comments on our Facebook page. This is generating a lot of hits this morning, and Teresa Sweet says, I agree that many kids are these days. It's a rule of mine and hubbies that our kids aren't involved in more than two things per season. Amanda Smith said, yes and no. Yes, because too much on their plate can overstress them and hurt their academic performance. No, because no schedule means they're most likely to get into trouble. And Renee Raymond says, as long as my kids are involved in one sport, I'm happy. So everyone's trying to find that balance there and sharing their stories, which I think is important. Balance is key in most everything. But we'll see what you all say in our poll at the end of the show. For now.